Okay, welcome back to our TOEFL preparation class and this time we will talk about unit 18 um, This part is about the reading section <coughs> What is it about? Let's check it out So here we have unit 18, guessing word meaning Guessing word meaning, simply we can say that we are trying to find the meaning of a difficult word and then the way is by finding clues from the context yeah, actually, in TOEFL, in the reading section, when we are having a question, um, and the question is asking about the definition or the meaning or the synonym or antonym of a difficult word, actually, um, inside that reading text, the clues are available. Yeah, and this time we will find the clues um, but from the context, and they are in form of the words. Okay, what is it? Let's check it out. Here is a um, brief explanation. So this unit explains how to guess uh, the meaning of a word from the clues in the context. To find clues for the meaning of a word, you should read a sentence containing the word. So what you have to read adalah when you find the word, and then you read the whole sentence where the word is found. So when there is a word in a sentence, and then you have to complete, I mean, you have to read the sentence completely if necessary if you cannot find it in the same sentence the previous or the subsequent sentences ya, bisa baca di kalimat yang sebelumnya atau sesudahnya tapi jangan jauh-jauh jadi maksimal hanya satu kalimat sebelumnya atau maksimal satu kalimat sesudahnya itu kalau we cannot find the clues right so try to understand what is expressed by the sentence intinya adalah uh, we have to find uh, the meaning of the sentence, bukan meaning of the word. Jadi ketika we understand the meaning of the sentence, we can find the meaning of the word. Nah, this is the clue. The meaning of the word is usually explained by other words in these sentences. Right? So, it is explained by the other words inside the same sentences. Or it is implied, not, uh, not always written clearly, but implied in what is expressed still it is talking about the same sentence okay to make it clear let's just check the example here we have collaborators and then here we have dissolve and then here we have tiny right the bold letters collaborators dissolve uh, dissolved and tiny these are the difficult words now here when we are trying to this uh, read this one this is the word and then we have to find where does the sentence start and end and we get back here this is the stop the full stop means the sentence starts here and then it ends here so what we have to read is this sentence charles frederick cross worked together with his collaborators yeah actually here you have the clues already work together with his collaborators what is collaborators someone that you work together with yeah someone that you work together with that is what you call collaborators and the clue is here that's it we will see the examples of the question after this the next one is here dissolve this is the full stop and this is the next one so the sentence uh, starts with the next until viscose the next Sorry, next, it is dissolved in a sodium hydroxide to form a thick liquid. Yeah, so it is um, dissolved from another substance, right? Uh, from another substance, dissolved to form a liquid. A substance dissolved, and after dissolve, it is in form of a liquid. So, you can find something like meleleh or something, right? from a substance into liquid perubahan dari substance menjadi liquid proses perubahannya itu disebut sebagai dissolve nah proses dissolve ini kemungkinan meaningnya adalah yang sifatnya mencair nanti we'll check the options that's it the next one here we have tiny and then it starts with finally and then Ryan yarn finally the viscose is forced through dipaksa untuk through melalui tiny openings opening yang tiny nah the question is 
Nah ini, ini meaningnya apa? And then we have to read the whole sentence. In a spinneret into an acid solution which congeals in the form of fine strands. Ya, yeah, opening sentence itu tadi. Um, in the form of fine strands. Dalam bentuk helayan, helayan kecil. So, if we are talking about helayan kecil, berarti openingnya adalah opening yang also sama ukurannya dengan helayan tadi. So, mungkin meaningnya adalah kecil. That's it. These are the clues. Sekarang kita cek betulkah yang kita sebutkan tadi ada di pilihan jawabannya. Oke, okay, that's the clues. Work together with. And then to form a thick liquid. Yang mungkin adalah dari substance menjadi cair, meleleh. And then the other one is in the form of fine strands. Helayan kecil. Berarti openingsnya itu helayan kecil, kecil. Kemungkinan tiny-nya adalah kecil. Now, this is number one. Collaborators. You work with. Orang yang kita ajak bersama-sama dalam bekerja adalah si collaborators is partners. Dissolve dari substance tadi berubah menjadi liquid menjadi cairan. Oke, okay, ini dia. We have the answer, right? Melt. And then the word tiny. Tadi kita bicara kata kuncinya adalah yang fine strands, layan halus, layan kecil. Kecil, kecil, kecil. Here we have. That's it. So actually when you are working with the reading section and then di sana ada pertanyaan tentang um, word meaning what you have to do adalah read the whole sentence and then you will find the clues. Biasanya di dalam kalimat itu akan disertakan clues. Karena itulah dimasukkan kalimat yang sulit. Jadi kalimatnya sulit adalah kalimat uh, sari kata yang sulit adalah kata yang memang sudah dipilih untuk dijadikan soal dan di sekelilingnya dimasukkan Keywords, memakisikan kata kunci atau kata bantu yang mendefinisikan kata yang sulit itu tadi. So, dari sini unit 18, and silahkan kerjakan the exercise seperti biasa, three exercises, and good luck. Thank you.